And let's see how this is different than Private VLAN Edge. It's going to be more complex because it is going to allow, it's going to allow for better, uh, better options, better, better, let's say, uh, finer control in the network. So private VLANs is going to allow for layer 2 isolation between ports within the same VLAN, which is, that's what I want, to stop intra-VLAN traffic from being, so to stop an infected endpoint from spreading uh, towards other endpoints within the same VLAN. So I want to be able to block or restrict intra-VLAN traffic. So it's an expansion of the private VLAN, private VLAN edge feature. And first of all, it's going to allow isolation or restriction between int between hosts within the same VLAN across multiple switches. While private VLAN edge that works only for ports connected on the same switch. And not only it allows to span the configuration allows to span across switches, but it is also is going to allow for more granular control of what happens within that VLAN. Because private VLAN edge, as we saw, it was all or nothing. So by default, the switch allows all traffic back and forth between the, the all ports, of course, in the same VLAN, all IP and an IP and non IP traffic. But when you put two ports to be as protected, all IP and non IP traffic is being blocked. You cannot selectively choose what to do in there. Like if you're going to have a switch with five ports configured as private VLAN edge, there's no traffic at all back and forth between those five ports whatsoever. Now for private VLANs to function, so in order to offer that functionality of being able to uh, survive across, to span across switches and to provide better control within the VLAN, then it's going to make use of the concept of sub VLANs and main VLANs. So the main VLAN is also known as the primary VLAN, while the sub VLAN is sub VLAN, sub VLANs are going to know, be known as the secondary VLANs. So of course that this means that when you define the configuration, you have to define what is your primary VLANs and what are going to be your secondary VLANs. Mm -hmm.